Welcome back. We're gonna play some Tiny Bunny. This is a game that I started, like, for ten seconds, and my viewers the other day said, no, we don't wanna watch this. I'm gonna play it. I don't care what anyone says. I think it's gonna be fun. So let's watch. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to do reading, aren't I? God, it's hot in this room. Wind. Uh, the wind clawed at my window all night long. Oh! Oh no! What did I do? Oh fuck, I clicked a button. What did I do? Ah, uh, shit. Oh, the fuck rewind? Backlog. I didn't protest and put the book back about Conan the Barbarian. I clicked the wrong button! I'm so sad. I was stuck on the line I couldn't understand after reading it three times. But anyways. Anya, Olya, Olya. Had already finished her breakfast and was munching on some cookies. She was so enthusiastic she almost looked like she, your typical girl from a commercial. You're not going anywhere until you finish all of it. I, on the other hand, was still trying to drill a hole in the plate with my eyes, as if it would make the porridge disappear. Hazing anxiety, uh, anxiousness welled up inside, all because of a sleepless night, the black forest around our house and the gloomy wind. The longer I waited, the colder the lumpy white substance became. It looked like a jellyfish from the Fastio Odyssey. Odyssey. I love that show. I wonder how hor uh, horrifying the bottom of the ocean is. Or how cold the black forest is at night. The spoon fell out of my hands. Mom showered me with cold glares from her green eyes. What did I just say? I'll get it. I had ten seconds to catch my breath before... Uh, battling the nasty porridge once again. I felt around for the spoon. What is this carved on the other side of the table? Karina. Ha, huh, that's my mother's name. I guess she carved it out with something pointy when she was little. Uh, she, she sure was a rascal damaging the furniture like that. She would, uh, she would scold me for weeks if I did something similar, though. <laughs> Should I remind her about it? No. She's been a bit bad, in a, bleh, 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 in a bad mood lately. I imagine she's being, uh, imagine her being my age sitting under the table. I wonder, was mom afraid of dark back then? Were the sounds coming from the attic? Or the thick forest? I imagine my grandmother coming into my... Little mom's room, sitting on the edge of her bed, where Olya sleeps nowadays, and saying this in her soft, smooth voice. Taiga, Taiga, this is is a special place, little girl. It's something you you closely sniff, sniffing you out. It's watching you closely, sniffing you out, trying to discern what kind of beast you are. If you're a good sort, it won't abandon you in the, in times of trouble. But if you are a bad apple, it grabs you by the side and drags you under the ground. And that's would and that would be it. Grandmother was caring. She never fought with anyone. Never yelled. Never swore. Those were the times without the mad maddening screams until late night, without slamming dishes and mutual. Accusations. Our parents used to love each other back then. Oh shit! <laughs> I remember listening in one of one of their conversations by chance. They were talking about Grandma getting prepared for her funeral. She had already brought. Uh, she had already bought a casket. She called it cute funeral box. Dear God, that's awesome. It was waiting. Uh, it was waiting for its time in the closet patiently. It was black, un, uh, unholstered with, unholstered with meat. All right, colored material on the inside. I saw it when Grandma was getting buried. 
The house didn't change since that time she was alive. Only, only all the photos were gone. The last covered photos were uh, with grave faces of my ancestors. They all had, they all had a dead but watchful look in their eyes. Crawl out from under the table. Oya was done with her cookies and was looking at me at my share like a sly woodland critter. I turned my gaze to the frosty window. There was a lot of dark pines outside, but I, uh, they didn't grab my attention. A pattern in the frost formed a picture in, on the glass. Oya, oh, yeah, look, it's a fox. Where? I hope you die the silliest way possible, thanks. They look like uh, those optical illusion uh, thingies that you put in the, uh, on the back of a student's notebook. A mixture of lines at first glance, but if you blur your vision a little bit and look at a certain angle, not outside, on the window. Look, here's the nose, and here's... <laughs> hey, eat. <laughs> yes, yes, just a moment. I, I don't see anything. Жива. Совсем немного осталось. There's not much left. Oh, there it is. But it still doesn't look like one. А я говорю похоже. I'm telling you, it, it does. Nah. Похоже. Yes. <laughs> oh God, here we go. Stop it. Ну что за дети? These kids, I swear. No, I couldn't see the fox either. Oh. <laughs> oh, now it's gone. It disappeared. Went away. Only the frosty pattern, similar to stretched out needle leaves kept creeping up the window oh there's a man my dad entered the kitchen with long measured measured steps i wanted to hear a beard oh, i wanted to have a beard like his when i grew up he's got a wonderful beard my mother would ask jokingly come on shave it it stinks cheeky beard <laughs> this was so long ago Nowadays, rumbling doors and witty comebacks were an everyday occurrence. Oya always covered her ears whenever she heard something like, What's the point in all this? Through the wall. It's all for your sake, Dad would reply, for the sake of our family. I always got every sound and fear of hearing the most dreadful and deadliest words, starting with a D. Not the D word. D-I-V-O. I didn't even want to finish it. It was scary to imagine that me and my sister uh, could be torn apart and taken into two different families. The blinking was creepy. <laughs> Anyways, your fox is nothing. I have an owl in my window. You and your owl talk again? You said you believed me just yesterday. Has anyone seen my car keys? I remember leaving them uh, on the window seal. Right. Вроде оставлял. Вроде you did. Maybe you. Maybe not. Вроде взрослый мужчина. You're a grown man, a father of two, and still. Перестань, пожалуйста, Карина. Please stop. Дай мне спокойно собраться. Just let me get ready in peace. В корзине твои ключи. Keys are in the basket near the phone. Огромное тебе человеческое спасибо, Антон. Ешь быстрее, а то как мучаешь себя. And I'm making a martyr out of yourself and eating already. Is Markiplier going to play this dating simulator? What dating simulator? But the owl. Не было там there никакой no совы. Была. But there was one. Лазюки огромные. It was, a, it was it had giant glowing eyes. Oh, yeah, sprung up from her chair and placed her hand on her little face, imitating the pair of eyes with her fingers, the size of an apple each. В прошлом году бабай в шкафу. Last year you had a сова. Бабья, 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 баба. Bobby, Bobby, in your closet. Yeah, Bobby, that's how you pronounce that. Fuck. In your closet, now this owl. But, but I saw it. I uh, shifted her gaze back and forth from my father and my mother to my mother to me, but couldn't find any support. Your cam is covering the man's face. Oh, is that what you're saying? You're saying Markiplier's playing this? It isn't a dating sim. <laughs> Have you thought of befriending it? You know, like feeding it with imaginary mice? Don't bully her. She's just afraid to sleep alone because she's still little. Quiet powdered her lips in rebellion and rushed into the hall. The staircase 
that led to the second floor Crete. I want to get a dagger strict look. Damn, that's a strict look right there. <laughs> look at that face. Oh, that's the look, that look in her eyes. It's so uncomfortable to be pinned under it. <laughs> Dad just snorted in reply and left, ringing the keys as he, uh, the, the keys he just found. A minute had passed and the theme song from The Little Mermaid echoed through the house. It was stored in, on an incredibly worn out cassette tape, which Dad already had glued together once. It's so easy to fix objects by gluing them back together, for example. But how do you fix a relationship? That is the question. Mom moved into the living room, or, yeah, living room, and I was left alone, anxiously stealing glances at the window. At a stroke counter? Uh, it's not worth it. <laughs> I had trouble sleeping every ever since we moved to this house. She would toss and turn or curl up in a ball under her blanket. Sometimes she would jump up in the middle of the night and turn on the VA VCR. Mother trucker, I... <laughs> Cartoons helped to take her mind off of uh, off all the troubles we had with the move and our parents. Oh. Anyway, I said she saw something. Uh, saw that giant flying monster outside the window. She's become obsessed with it. Our parents did everything in their power. They tried every every little trick to get rid of those ridiculous fears. I refused to sleep alone and didn't believe that the owl was just one of her nightmares. It is in the walls. <laughs> all, all last night, I was unsure what to make of my sister's words, what to think of it myself. Can nightmares be infectious? The night I, uh, that night I could, couldn't get a wink of sleep. Ended up thinking of what to expect from my new school year. There were a couple of days left before the beginning of our of a, of a term, new term. <laughs> That's another stroke. <laughs> I am uh, my imagination drew long twisted twisting hallways that led to the to a classroom full of kids but all the students behind their desk were simply dark figures cut out using a template circular holes gape, gaped in the middle of their faces and pairs of eyes blinked inside those holes it was as if some completely different creature some completely different creatures were looking at me from behind the flat black silhouette. Their cruel uh, glares filled with icy sneers, making me shiver from head to toe. Is this a game or a book? It's a game. I gotta make decisions eventually, it's just I'm getting there. Will I survive here? Won't, won't they gang up on me and beat me down? Stomp me? <laughs> Stomp on me with their bloody shoes? Wow, these kids are brutal. The damn school can burn for all I care. I just wish for anything to happen happen to it. It doesn't really matter what. I didn't want to go there that badly. I didn't want to see people who are just itching to smack me on the head, trip me, think of a new offensive name for me. Worse than the previous. Eventually I like how One Piece... <laughs> nah, man. I'm not gonna... I, I, I had no comment. I have no idea. Um, I felt like the glasses I wore made me an outsider or some, or some sort of monster. Fuck. <laughs> my, my gaze slid across the drawer hanging on the wall. I couldn't consider myself a great artist. Well, oh, you begged me to hang them. Drawing was the, uh, the only thing that made me happy as of late. The small circle of friends I had also enjoyed uh, had also enjoyed my painting and this and they promised to call me from time to time sometime i imagine my mom picking up the phone and saying in a cold voice you've got the wrong number or anton is not around anton is not around i imagine my future classmates lying in their beds just like me listening to the howls of invisible werewolves outside the window maybe my new classmates will like me after all but who would ever like a boy with thick glasses? I mean, my dad used to wear glasses when he was little, and now he's married to the most beautiful woman in on the planet, my mom. This game is like... <laughs> I, I think so. 
It could be. I was never. I was never here. Oh fuck! It's just me talking to myself. God damn. The house creaked, pressed by the wind. The condo we used to live in, a nine-floor concrete building, buzzed with the, with the neighbors' drills, mumbled, uh, mumbled with a TV set from behind the wall, cried like a baby from, the big family next door. Our current home, though, I couldn't really call it new, it was completely different. It was silent and easygoing during the day. Its shadows lay dormant in the corners, on the closet, cobwebs, and under the stairs. But they all woke up during the night. Something was watching me from every corner, almost as if the old photos of my deceased family were the, with their ash, ashen eyes were hanging on the wall in the place my drawings. The floor was squeaking, rusty drains were moaning, the attic was occupied by a noisy draft. One could think of think the house was performing some sort of demonic melody. And then I realized I was, in fact, hearing music. It was already playing for a good while. Somewhere on the edge of my peripheral, I could hear a flute. It was the mix uh, it was mixed with the sound of the wind, the creaking house, and my thoughts too. This game had more illustrations, it would be- I think it gets better. I, I want to say it gets better. This is just like setting plot. It's like- it's like a book. You gotta like, get through the plot first, and then you can- you get to good stuff. Not all books are like that, but I've read books like that. I stood up and rushed to the window. I wanted to reassure myself that the music was nothing more than a product of my imagination. It's not like someone is playing it there. I miss the cold, snowy night, right? All right, let's open the window. <laughs> Someone was dancing in the field. Black silhouettes I could barely make out with the black forest as their backdrop. They jumped around, basked in the moonlight, bumping into piles of snow, rolling around and crawling on all fours. Stories of wolves playing under the, the moon came to mind, but these were clearly not wolves. They stood upright at times, circling uh, around, holding hands and whipping up snow, disappearing into the shadow for a brief moment and then coming back. Something bizarre was going on. Shadows dancing in the starless abyss made me imagine go, uh, imagination go wild, making my anxiety doing the same. Are they on vodka? Suddenly the music stopped. The dancing shadows froze in place and I could swear piercing me with their eyes. One of the silhouettes immediately parted from the, sh uh, the Bizarre Shadow Carnival and sprinted across the field with a great leap. Oh shit. It glided on squeaking snow without leaving any prints until it was devoured by the pitch black shadows of my house, which became even darker and thicker. My heart was jumping around like the bird inside a cage. I shut the curtains with a shift motion and stepped back towards the bed. They saw me. A freezing torrent of fear washed over me. I stood in the middle of a perfectly dark room and listened to some unwanted guest move and scrape around, looking for an entrance. The sound moved to my right, then circled around the house. Now my guest should be at the front door. I jumped into bed and covered myself with the blanket, as if it, if it could protect me. The shackles of fear locked my muscles. I remember the, uh, the funeral, my grandma lying there, hands crossed on her chest, facial features sharp like that of a tin doll. Ants running up and down the leg of the chair that held my grandma's casket. I imagine those little creatures crawling up her head and pulling her eyelids with their tiny legs. Then her wrinkly eyeballs were once again moving inside of their sockets and she'd be able to see her grandchildren. I was chanting the spell she taught me throughout the whole pro uh, procedure. And, and now, lying under a blanket, listening to the squeaks and howls, I was repeating the same words on the island of Bayan, under the blemished sun, the sea of color blue, stands a cabin made of wood. Evil leaves this house must. Those, those words. Ash to ash, dust to dust. As our sounds had disappeared, I cautiously peeked out from under the blanket and saw the curtain waving around like a hangman. 
Then the knight doused me with a new portion of boiled terror. The, the, the sound scratched at my eardrums. In reality, something or someone was scratching at the front door. Hurried claws at wood, demanding to be let in. The door was shut. Dad had become very cautious recently, so he installed a sturdy lock. I remember him staring at the forest intensely as if he had saw some, uh, as he, as if he was looking at some. Ash to ash. Dust to dust. I hung my knees. I hugged my knees. Hung. Hugged my knees. Placing my chin between them and, dr uh, and drilled the door with my eyes. It was so flimsy and weak before the might of the darkness. Of darkness. And then... Oh, that's fucked. The doorknob twitched slightly. That's not slightly. Then it turned halfway, once, twice, as if a person was trying to enter with no hands. Oh, it tilted once more, and then... Suddenly clicking violently. My jaw cramped fear in my wet fingers, <laughs> clutching the blanket. The door cracked and opened. Or creaked and opened. The wind haunted me, moaning inside of... It, uh, moaning inside the tin drains. Now, now you, now you'll see. The door was w wide open. The darkness writhed inside the carnivorous mouth of a doorway. To oh, oh, Tony, Tony. It was as if the night itself was calling out to me, flapping its black wings and squ squeaking with rusty hinges. I was trembling and snared by the webs of darkness that hung in the corners of my room, waiting for one who weaved it to come out of the gaping hole, black hole. Tony! <laughs> Jump scare and going here. Why haven't tightened and my chest rose up, ready to inhale a desperate scream? But before I was able to do anything, the darkness asked me, Tasha, Tasha, you asleep? My sister. Pale face intruded from the thick dark, the thick shadows. Almost screamed from relief. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I am not, not sleeping. Did something happen? I frowned and stuck her upper lip, stuck out her upper lip, a clear sign that she was about to cry. Is there something? It's there again, staring at me. Shoo her away, Tasha. What? My name changing? What? I was Anton, then Tony, now Tasha. <laughs> Please. I'm so scared. The fear that was tormenting me just a minute ago crawled away and hid somewhere in my in my stomach. I needed to calm Anya first. A doubt, it, Anya doubt. it was just a dream, silly. Don't be, don't be scared. Dream, don't bite. No one's going to harm you. Oh, yes, out. She was trying her best to believe me. Was I sure myself? I have an idea. Let's go to your room and watch a the video, Sleeping Beauty, for example. You like that cartoon, don't you? Why does Sleeping Beauty have a prince and I have a scary bird? The question took me by surprise. Alright, let's watch Cinderella. My thoughts became tangled, fussy. What was that? What studied me with its eyes while dancing feverishly under the moon. The darkness was clinging to the window, and it couldn't be fooled by gran Grandma's old chants. It couldn't be satisfied by the f a feast of lard and long ashen hair. Tosha, Tosha you coming? Da, da, yes, yes, just a moment. Oh! <laughs> that got me! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh my god, I haven't, I haven't had a jump scare like that in a while. Holy shit. <laughs> you ever get those jump scares? It only affects your throat. That was what I just got. That was good. That was good shit. Water. Why is it spicy? That's why I didn't want to laugh at Onya and her owl, owl in the morning. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding a. Who could visit us here in the middle of nowhere? We don't know anyone around here. 
so persistent. I felt extremely unsettled just by a silly thought that our morning guests could have come from the woods. I'm scared, bitch. <laughs> you almost had a heart attack. <laughs> I haven't been, so I haven't had a jump scare like that in a while. That was good. And it's probably because I'm getting in, because I'm having to read stuff and I'm getting into it. I'm really enjoying this. I feel extremely unsettled just by the silly thought. Oh, I just read that. I could barely hear voices coming from the front door. My mind was urging me to hide. In the closet. Under the table. Behind the curtain where Anya always hides. Tasha. Tasha. Come here. Why am I Tasha? What the fuck happened to Anton? I felt like kettlebells were tied on my feet, but still dragging them towards the hallway. A couple of police officers towered over me in the doorway. They smelled like frost and worry. My mom always winced and grumbled the moment she saw patrol cars worse than bandits. You're an imposter? What do you mean? <laughs> I have so many names! At the moment, though, she looks somewhat confused. Hello. The senior officer, who wore a grim expression, nodded. A boy had gone missing yesterday. His name's Bova. Bova? Okay, Bova. That's an interesting name. Look at this place, please. Have you seen him? Uh, the police held out a photograph to me. There was a ginger, a uh, ginger boy around the age of elementary school. I didn't know that was an age. Pictured with a, a, a wall carpet as uh, as the backdrop. He had a striped cat in his hands and wore a wide smile. Нет. No, I haven't. Точно. Are you sure? Посмотри внимательно. Look closely. Где мне его видеть? Where would I see him? I don't know anyone around here. I barely, I, I barely leave the house. Well, maybe if you've seen him from the window. That's right. Your window looks straight at the, the forest, don't, don't they? The window. No, I haven't seen anything. I see. He sounded tired, but his eyes... He stared long and heavy. It was full of suspicion. I squirmed unwittingly under the... The weight of guilt, which has giant shadows casting. Guilt? What do you mean? Do I know something that I don't? <laughs> the police officer finally tore his eyes from me and glanced over the uh, over the hallway, the stairway, and the creep, uh, the cracks in the ceiling, which I hadn't noticed before for some reason. How do you like your new place, by the way? Getting used to it. Bit by a bit, but, uh, it's just they, our little daughter's missing the city a lot. I say imposter syndrome. <laughs> Misses the city, huh? Have, have the locals been treating you well? Yes, everything is alright, thank you. The police officer pierced through me once, one more time with his grey eyes. My head starts spinning. Uh, can I help you with something? I asked... Uh, that in a shaky voice, it uh, to look like a polite boy to, and to end the unpleasant conversation sooner. Now that I think about it, you, you look just like one of my nephews, the little, little fella. He's a witty friend. boy around your age. He wears ocularmi. the same type of goggles, uh -huh. also engrossed in reading with uh, those mystery novels. He told me he wanted to enroll in police school when his family visited visit the city. Wanted to help other people, just like me. See, I felt uncomfortable, <laughs> as if a distant relative and not a uh, and not a police officer stood before me. Oh, ребятушки, you know what? Little boy дома. like you should stay at home. Steer away from trouble. Жизнь the time, uh, the time has changed so much. I'm going to inject it in a cold voice. You don't say. No, da ladna. Ah. Well then. What grade are you in, Anton? Now I'm Anton! What the f Who told you my name? Have you made any friends here so far? Not yet. I'll, I'll be going to school for the first time after, after the break. Ah, so then I'll leave you my number just in case. Call me if you have any new info. 
This cop is asking a child to help him with an investigation. I'm loving this. The police officer was, was gone along with it, their shadows. The smell of cheap cologne and the photo of the smiling boy. Of a smiling boy. His face still stood before my eyes. I wondered what it what uh, what it was like for him, being all alone there. I think this game might have bad translation. I'm pretty sure this is made by a, a Russian developer. I'm enjoying the story still. Like it, it it's probably not. I I can't say poorly translated because the translation seems pretty good. I think there are errors because it seems like the tra yeah it, there there are definitely translation errors here and there. Uh, for some reason, I thought the uh, the forest of the forest swaying in the wind. What did his poor parents feel? I think there's words in Russian and names in Russian that don't translate to English all that well, or sometimes can be mistranslated in English, and that may be why I'm getting different things here and there. Uh, what did his poor parents feel? And what would my parents do if I I'd gone missing? Would they cry and thrash around hysterically? Or would or they accuse each other like they always did and forget about me eventually? Mom, Mom this this Vova, did he go missing in the forest? Seems like it. Poor boy. How the fuck do they mistranslate a name? You'd be surprised. There there are ways to mistranslate names. There's names in like Chinese and other languages too that like their their names are in Chinese, and there is no way to translate it to English. And if you try to translate it to English, you could get various things. Um, I look out the window at the road. The police UAZ drove off towards the village. The officer's nephew came to mind when I was spitting, uh, splitting off old paintings from the windowsill. I remember all of the Teenage mystery novels from the Black Kitten series. Black Kitty series. I've, I've read this summer. Your average boys and girls investigating all sorts of mysteries there. They look, looked for clues, spied on suspicious people. And after all, uh, after a set of a, amazing adventures, BAM solved any complicated case. They became local celebrities and must have made their parents very proud. I noticed a trail of the uh, the police officer's footsteps that led to the forest. And then it clicked in my head. Why don't I start an investigation of my own? That's a terrible idea. Don't do it. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll find the lost boy. And I'll be I'll get a reward. Oh yeah, would be so happy. Oh, the boogeyman is gonna get you this night, yeah. And not only Oya, mom and dad too. Maybe they'll even forget about their quarrels for a while. Maybe I'll even save us from the D-word. I fascinated about buying Oya a Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi. Alright. I'm getting a cassette player and a bunch of tapes for myself. And a whole box of Kinder Surprise. Duck. Yeah, the duck word. Anything but duck. So, when was the last time our parents bought us any toys? That's all I think. My dad had lost his job at that uh, at the time. That's the annoying song. That's what uh, there's no there's that annoying song about it. I had a little to no idea what was the accountant's job like. They count money, I think. Maybe she's envious. But nowadays, mom and dad barely haven't had money to afford sweets, and that's always. Uh, Always divide a single chocolate bar between me and Oya. Sometimes I gave her my share, too. No matter how much I wanted to eat sweets, she was still just a pipsqueak. I couldn't wait to go out, looking for Fight clues. I'm going outside. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. You want the police to go around with your photograph next? Dear God, the forest is so thick. What if the boy got snatched up by wild animals? Or something even worse? Even worse echoed through the hallway. I won't go far. I'll stay away from the forest. Did you hear what I said? Or should I repeat myself? I'm gonna pack your school bag or play with Oya. The sound of splashing water came from the kitchen. 
It meant that the argument was over and mom had the last word. Ah, this cross had seen uh, many people come and go in this house. It was black as if it absorbed all human sin. My long, the long years it was hanging under the ceiling. After Grandma died, Mom was going to take it off and hang a horseshoe in its place as a lucky charm. But she cut herself with the cross sharp corners and almost fell from the step ladder. I never knew my real ladder. <laughs> Dad called it a sign from above and ordered the cross to be left alone in its rightful place. What is this? Mom's peg top family relic. My mom played with it when she was little. Then she gifted it to me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh yeah, was next in the succession line. The toy belonged to her now. She stared at the dance, uh, dancing s spindle as if it could show her something. A fairy tale or maybe even our future. Now even my little sister was a bit too old for the old old squeaky peg top. There's one more thing. The phone. My parents prohibited me for making long distance calls, but from time to time I really wanted to hear from my old friends. Uh, sometimes I would just pick up the phone, listen to the low hum of the zoomer, and the distant crackle, crackling, imagining the wind howling and the ice leaded cord. Lend, led, leaded cord. Leaden cord. Hmm, where shall I go? Your, la your laughter was so loud, your microphone got <laughs> Oh, fuck, I'm doing that again. Where should I go? What What do you? What would you like to... Where would I... Sh hmm, where should I go? Hmm, three choices. Yeah, I got nothing. I think this is a basement? No, this is a storage. This is the kitchen where Mother is, and this is the yard. Hmm. What should I do? What do you think, cultist? What is your idea? Where shall we go? My companion in this adventure? I don't know. Audience? I don't fucking know. I don't know where to go. Dice. Alright, I'm getting a dice. You, you, you said I should get a dice. Let's go. Let me get physical dice up. I actually have dice right here. Let's do this. A d6. We'll do that. First, uh, one and four is open. Two and five, kitchen. Three and six is... Alright, I rolled six. We're going to the front yard. Anton! Anton! I'll whip you if you make a single step out the door. I don't want to get whipped. What's in here? The old stuffy closet. Mom said it smells like mice, and, but how would she know their smell? I hate when I stick my nose in there. Oh, she hates it when I stick my nose in there. I was afraid I'll cut myself on the freshly sharpened axe. Oh, well, I can't even uh, be lured close to it. She thinks Bob, Bobby, Bob, Bye, Baba Yi, still living there. I tried to help her fight her fear once, opened the door and turned the dim light on so she could see there was nothing but cobwebs, dad's tools, and sketching walls. She still didn't believe me. And I like to hide in the closet, listen to Anya, count outside one, two, three, better hide from me, and then drag her feet on the creaky floor of the boards, hoping that she wouldn't need to look for me in the cramped monster's den. Alright. Let's check the fridge. I'm hungry. Grandma kept ice cream for me and Olya. Now I can only see meat bits for soup and clumps together. Pelmeni. Pelmeni? I don't know what that is. What is Pelmeni? I don't know. Turn back. Ah. Yes. Uh, descriptive... Decrepit and stain-covered calendar 
was once my favorite form of entertainment in Grandma's house. I remember waking up and running to the kitchen to tear it off yesterday's leaf first thing in the morning, as if the coming day would get lost in the ta taiga forest without my help. One day closer to New Year's, one day closer to Grandma's funeral. I haven't touched the calendar for years now. Since the day we, we started writing dark and spooky death chants that only made me gloomy and instead of funny proverbs and superstitions, to be exact. I grabbed the dusty calendar leaf with caution and tore it off effortlessly. Sadly, the spook descri uh, spooky descriptions from my childhood were still there. Seven horses carried a log. If seven can't carry, bring an eighth from the ferry. This will take it away and never come a come back. This this is the fate. The log cannot escape. What the fuck? Crumbled the gray leaf and threw it in the waste bin, hoping to get rid of the anxiousness that washed over me. It was spreading inside me like an ink stain on blood blotting paper. All right. Uh, there's a couple things to read here. The radio. Out of Russia has declared a state of emergency due to adverse weather conditions. According to the weather forecast, a, a cyclone is moving towards the region. Expect a heavy snowfall, blizzards, and snowdrifts on the road. Keep your eyes open and take care of yourselves. Wow, fascinating. Crossword puzzle! I took a peek at Mom's crossword. She would get very angry when someone gave her advice, so me and Dad faked knowing the answers and being... Uh, being about to reveal it all the time. I smiled at, at, uh, at that fleeting thought. Vertical, nine, nine letters. The name of a Palestine uh, deity that protects them from the vipers, viper bites, and had the nickname the Lord of Flies. Second letter is E. Hmm. I don't fucking know. It's how, uh, it's how the old ocean fridge was checkered with my old child, childish drawings, mom's recipes, and all kinds of stickers from bubble from bubble, bubble gum with dinosaurs that Oya liked so much. Among the, the still life pictures hung a piece of uh, ruled paper with the phone number of the police officer. Who visited us. First Lieutenant Takonov. 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 Hope I pronounced that right. I read inside my mind, looking at the officer's sprawling handwriting. Scrap of paper that was held by two pieces of broken magnet from some old uh, Soviet toy. And those pieces were barely covered with the number, uh, barely covered up the numbers as if to taunt me. I leaned towards it to unveil the mystery and take the piece to a safer place where it would uh, wait for its time when I would finally find Vova and be the first to call the police with the happy news. Anton! Anton. Mom's reproach eyes stared at me. What do you need it for? Hands off. You'll lose it. Angering my mom was the last thing I wanted to do, so I lowered my hand. Mm -hmm. Alright, time to lie to mom. Huh? It was difficult to lie to mom, but there was no other way for me to run away from... Mom, mom something's wrong with the TV. TV. The picture is dim and there's a stripe all over, all over the screen. Mom's face became visibly distorted. Uh, you're killing me. You're killing me here. So... Have you had enough of shooting those stupid ducks now? Говорила же, посадите мне кинескоп своей приставкой. Кинескоп will go dim because of your console. Где мы теперь? Oh, he's got duck time. Yo, he's got duck time. I love that game. I used to love that game. Uh, where will we, where will we find it? A TV technician in this hole, huh? Может быть просто настройки сбились. Maybe it's just the settings. Сходи, посмотри, Please go пожалуйста. see for yourself. We're fine in the morning. And snowfall caused it. Mom rubbed her hands uh, clean on her apron and went to Oya's room. We go inside. I opened the front gates and went to the field. Carefully, 
so mom wouldn't see me from the window. When I crossed half the distance towards the forest, a pile of snow became as high as my knees. I remember in my nightly fear. I saw those silhouettes around here. They were jumping around and holding hands. They <laughs> hypnotizing music starting uh, started playing in my head all on its own. In the light of day, those distant figures felt like a, like a simple dream. The sun turned my nightmares to ash, but the aftertaste was still there. The distant ringing in my ears, the distorted shadows crawling on the snow alongside me. A barely audible whisper in my head, blurry and almost kind. I'm gonna get whipped. <laughs> Everything was silent. So silent I felt like the world was totally empty. No ground, no sky, no parents. Oh yeah. The time reached its limit, and one-way trip that ended at the forest's pining stockade. Something silent, sometimes silence, was much scarier than any scream. Our parents would scream at each other while arguing, and both me and Oya turned to stone, listening to them. But then always came the ringing silence. Our apartment became numb a couple of, of days before we departed. It was hard to remember the last time Mom and Dad joked around, laugh, laughing and, or spending time together, almost like all of it was in a previous life. When they hissed it, uh, when they when they kissed with Oya's presence, she always frowned and snorted in a funny way. But one day it all changed. Only a portman had left her house. And something scary filled the remaining void. Fuck! I'm gonna go back. Back log. Oh. Oh, you can check what it said. And it was uh, it was as if the fire broke out and our, par our parents were hurried, packing our belongings, trying to save themselves from us. From who, though? From the people with dead, cold eyes who sometimes visited us in our previous home. The eyes that only saw balls of worms on the black ground and everything. Or something, or somewhere far away, a siren was going off, trying to warn us of the coming menace. It's me, I'm the coming menace. Dot, dot, dot. I shuddered, chasing all of my delusions and looking looking around. There was only me, this white field in the wind that was whipping up icy dust and belts of powdered snow. I squinted from the sun and turned my eyes to the sunless force. It looked especially dark in contrast with the blinding whiteness. Knobby tree roots slendered under the snow like fat snakes. Rotten, uh, rotten leaves and conferous, con con conivorous needles froze into the ice. Old, prickled branches intertwined, bringing up an uncomfortable thought about fences. Were they protecting the forest? Or were they keeping something from breaking out? Some object was hanging from one of the pointy branches. I tried to get closer, downing the snow, and almost when I almost got to the edge, the forest, I saw I was in a knitted mitten. Okay. It looked like a wounded bird amongst the hungering semi-dark. Should I take it to the police? The senior officer looked gloomy, but he still reminded me of the Captain Cassonia of the TV show called The Streets of Broken... What is this? Oh, so I get... Oh, these are words that are... A Russian variation of dumplings? Okay. Accountant... Like, uh, yeah. Okay, that's cool. I can... I actually get glossary words. That's kind of nice. He was also always anxious, with a tired look in his eyes, but still brave and strong. Will this mitten help with... Uh, help them find the lost boy? Vova. I heard a distant shout. Looked like it came from the river. Vova. Vova. That's better. That's my acting for tonight. As if the trees were calling out to someone. Vova. Resound. Uh, resounded closely, closer to me. 
Someone was standing there behind the trees, hiding. Nova. I knew someone was looking for the lost boy, but still, something was unsettling about the figure. Its stillness, how it was bent unnaturally towards the ground, its blackness. There was no one there, just the branches and roots. It's all just my imagination. A nearby bird flapped its wings loudly. <laughs> my shadows just flicked from the trees and disappeared from, from my sight. I looked away for just a moment, but when I turned my gaze back, the same place it was gone. So, it was my imagination after all? Silence reigned for, for a painful, painfully long time. My muscles were tightly sprung. My heart was beating somewhere in my throat. Any noise, any little movement, a small whisper from the, tr the thicket, and I'd sprint. But nothing of the sort happened. I looked at the mitten once more. I'm gonna take it. I decided to take the lonely mitten from the branch. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Bova! A shout rumbled across the field and disluted in the distance. No echo, no hope of a reply. The steps towards the bristling tree and tried to claim my find. It didn't budge. I pulled harder. The branch cracked. And the mitten tore off. Landed in my hand with a squishy sound. All too heavy, wet. I squeezed it without thinking, and something dark spilled out from it, forming a tiny stream between the mitten and the snow. Stream rose from the, pile of sn the snow pile. It's blood. I bet it's blood. I froze in place, studying my palms in disgust red. The sound of cracking branches invaded the silence. I didn't think twice before running away. Someone was chasing me from the darkness, breaking the pine branches, closing the distance with the giant, with giant leaps. The snow was slowing down, slowing me down. Crazy thoughts flew through my mind. I'll be, I'll get caught. They'll get me. I'll get dragged into the thicket. I'll be gone forever. But there was one more voice, probably one of reason, that gave me strength, spurred me on. You can do it. Don't stop. I heard an animal roar behind me. It was so loud my ears went numb. It felt like the sound was, had come from a pack of hungry beasts rather than a single one. Their nostrils sucked in freezing air. Their sense, uh, they sensed my fear. Two giant wings flapped overhead. An enormous shadow flew over the clearing. A hoot, a wheeze. The roars were coming from all, all directions now. From the dried raspberry bush, from the twisted pine, from under the, the, the windfall. Hurry, run, don't look back. It felt like I was inside of a nightmare. Snowy clearing became uh, vicious like quicksand. I was stuck in place. I pulled my legs from the mushy trap just to be caught by a new one, even deeper than before. I can I can to drown sinking deeper and deeper with every desperate push. Was this, was the snow ever this sticky? I screamed in horror after realizing it wasn't snow. Someone or something in the snow pile was clutching my pants. I gathered my strength and rushed forward. The pressure on my leg was gone. My boots slipped off in the hole and my soul, my soles were on a hard surface again. I reached a clear path with one jump and from there ran to the house. Really, uh, oh, back in. Really, they it looked threatening now. The house on, on, uh, with my line of defense from the shadows that were bobbing their wings and the creatures that were hiding under the snow. I tripped over the door, uh, the doorstep and slammed the door. In my hurry, I managed to notice the claw marks, as if a dog was striking the wood with its paws, demanding to be let in so it could escape the cold. 
I hadn't noticed these marks when I was leaving. The heartbeat in my ears was louder than my surroundings. I couldn't hear whether someone was following me or not. What if they were already in our front yard and Mom had locked the door? Downing, uh, drowning in fear, I pulled the doorknob and its obedience gave way. Oh, it, it obedience gave way. I rolled the hallway and shut the door behind me. The planks creaked in my as my pursuers ascended. Uh, as my pursuers ascended the stairs, my fingers slipped from the lock. I could uh, I couldn't click it in place. I gritted my teeth and pulled hard the iron knob. Whipping it between the boards, I started to activate the door. Someone was standing on the other side of it, pit of, uh, of the pitiful, flimsy barrier that was probably less useful than blankets. Wheezing breaths reached into the house and crash, uh, crashed at me in waves. It smelled of pine and sweat. My mom peeked out of the kitchen and chastised me. The same frigid voice she'd always used in talking to Dad. What exactly didn't you understand when I told you to never slam the door? I, I didn't mean to. I stuck a glance at the door. The smell was gone, and the breath was too. If there was someone in the first place, of course. Here, mere five meters away from my mom. My fear was slowly weakening, melting like snow in spring. And with the last bit of my strength, I left, I had left my body, too. My legs gave way, I propped myself up against the wall, so I couldn't fall. My mom's expression changed immediately. Cold massiveness and detached was gone. Mom looked at me in the same way before all those quarrels. How could you die from this, from your stupid decision? She finally saw my condition, my wet pants plastered with snow. Where have you been? What did I tell you, huh? I told you to stay in there. Am I nothing to you? Too. I got afraid she would cry. I reached out to her <clears throat> when I was very little and wanted her to cuddle me. My arm gained her composure fast and put her usual face. Her eyes shined like steel. Her voice rang out. Your father can't find his cigarettes. To be honest, did you snatch him? Were you smoking in secret? Tam, I, uh, tam there, there was someone chasing me. I, 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 I stuttered as, as soon as I started explaining myself. Tears welled up in my eyes. I <laughs> leaned towards me, sniffed my clothes like a beast, searching for the smell of tobacco. Then she squinted her eyes in suspicion and looked into the front door. Her expression changed an instant to cover her mouth with her hand. Look, over there, at the fence. My heart uh, started thumping as... If I had become prey once again, my pursuers were following me in the field. I could I could swear that I heard something scratch at the door, just like my nightmare. Mom beckoned me with her finger and gathered all uh and I gathered all my remaining rear for you to look at the kitchen window facing my fear. I could barely discern some hairy silhouettes swimming in the snow through the icy winter patterns of the glass. I got chased by wild dogs. Dogs. Just a small pack of strays with no names or owner and owners, barely uh, reminding, barely reminding of hungry, the monsters that lived on the edge of the forest. Oh boy, were you scared of them? I think they'd rather be scared of you, Anton. They were chasing me like a bunny. And what if they, they're rabid? The smile had slowly disappeared from my mom's face. She looked at me. She looked at the dogs as if it was her first time seeing them. What if they attacked Oya? Mom. Mom. I wish your dad could just shoot them all. Wow! Mama. Mom, look, they're alive. Huh? What? Are they your friends or your foe after all? Make up your mind. You're not a little kid anymore. Well. Some detective I am. Peter approves. Peter approves. <laughs> In reality, I wasn't risking my life amongst monsters, but rather my pants amongst a pack of stupid strays. And what for? 
what use do do I have for them? For this mitten? Of course. A dark and sticky mitten that belonged to some to the lost boy had made a squishing sound in my hand. It seemed like I was clutching it the whole time. That's my trump card as a detective. I hurried to to present my mom. Mom, смотри, это Вовина варежка. Ну того, про которого утром милиция спрашивала. I'm dripping blood all over. These are asking about the blood. Она вся в крови. На дереве висела. Вот там могу показать. I can show you where. Давай милицию скорее позвоним. Как нас участковый? Мам, гляди. Фу. You. A shadow of doubt slowly crept under my mom's contorted face, as if she was trying to remember something. This isn't like someone tried tries to remember their dream, but the image slipped away. Stop it this moment. Oh, yeah, we will go insane if she hears you. You're already have trouble sleeping and whining and whines all the time. And you joke around like this. At that moment, I realized the mitten was actually wet with snow. There was no blood. I'm. This is. It might be schizophrenia. Schizophrenic. No blood, whatsoever. I wanted to sink through the floor for embarrassment. Иди сюда, паникёр. Come here, boy. My boy who cried wolf. Да не стой столбом. And don't just stand there. Don't take your pills. A gold-colored pill, reminiscent of a dead wasp. Я уже пил сегодня. I already took one during breakfast. Попререкайся мне еще. Сказала дома сидеть. I told you to stay at stay home, and you. Был бы отец выпорол. That would have given you a good whipping for that. Сейчас же выпей. Come on, take it. Тебе ведь в школу завтра. Or you won't be able to sleep at night, and you have school tomorrow. I just swallowed the bitter medication, drinking it down with a similar awful water that gave off a taste of chlorine. It's funny because hundreds of dogs. <laughs> that that's not. Funny. <laughs> ah! uh, maybe it wasn't a Volkov mitten. Maybe it wasn't a mitten at all. Just like the forest monsters. Noe is owl. Am I going mad? Oh, what the heck? What's happening to me? Either the pill is immediately taking effect, or my exer exerted brain, overexerted brain, didn't. Let fear inside anymore. Ser Serenity washed over me, bringing yawny indifference along with it. Anton, Anton you done? Можешь, See, you can do it when you try. Уснул, что ли? Take off your coat. Are you asleep? Нет, no. Mom, Mom, I was задумался. just thinking. Интересно, о чем же? What about? Так, глупости всякие. Silly. And she scrutinized me with suspicious eyes, as if she wasn't sure she was looking at her own son and not some doppelganger that had come from the forest. Точно все нормально. Is everything all right? У тебя такое лицо было, когда милиционер прокнулся. The exact same expression when the police officer asked you about the window. Все нормально. I'm all right, Bob. She heaved a deep sigh. Хорошо. Fine. It seemed like the house was had changed. The sofa's fabrics had become discolored. The fingerprints appeared on the bathroom uh, bathroom tiles. The light bulb also felt different, dimmer and yellower. Even the saliva inside my mouth had a different taste. A melody from Aladdin came, uh, could be heard from the upper floor. Oya was done rewatching her favorite Little Mermaid episode and, and switched to other tapes. I slowly changed into my home clothes and stopped before the sink, studying my reflection in the mirror. I was trying to solve my own, uh, spot the difference. Puzzles. Solving ADHD medication hits hard. <laughs> then I went upstairs. Jafar's and Lago's voices died down. I walked past Oya's bedroom and slipped into my own. I need this to go away. Monsters, ghosts, UFOs. Encyclopedia of Paranormal Phenomenon. From... Why did my lungs hurt? From Roseman Publishing. I've 
I've learned about the Loch Ness Monster, Medusa, Gorgon, and Bigfoot, but there. I don't know why I'm getting excited. I was always, always scared of this book. She could barely handle shifting through the, the monsters and alien sections with me, but in the middle, where they started talking about the ghost, really freaked her out. Peter Old? Yeah, that's it. I didn't remember. Ah! Even hunting ghosts after I'd read the book. I'd measured the distance between items on my table every every evening and checked if they had moved due to some supernatural force. Uh, come to the morning, they didn't. But, to be honest, what was I expecting? To meet Casper the ghost? My tribe's hair tops figurine! Well, no, uh, I know about all sorts of dinosaurs. Velociraptors, Afrovernators, Hypocilophodons. I remember going to the movies to see Jurassic Park back when we were still living, lived in the city and taking pictures with the T-Rex in the hall. It turned its head roar. It was awesome. And the next, and next to it was a Robotech Transformer. This dude says, says a whole lot of stuff. Some, some of the smell. I love this cartoon. And the jet fighter speeds up to uh, in the intro amongst the sound of blasters firing by a blaster fire. Fuck. You know your next twenty minutes is surely amazing. Centroid. <laughs> Space Station is captured. Rick, get ready for battle. What the fuck? I have no idea what that is. I've dreamt of becoming an artist since my dad bought me my first comic book. Fly? What is, what is that? The first Soviet and Russian periodic adult comic magazine. Extremely popular during the crazy 90s. <laughs> Refusal to use material from its foreign counterpart? Huh. Neat. The magazine is the coolest, especially like the big space uh, related edition with alien monsters and the funny episode with the Gendarme. Gendarme. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> I started drawing all kinds of stuff since that day. And I seem to be getting pretty good at it. One of, one of my letters even got published in Fly once. Maybe someday they'll even publish my comics. Yo, I write comics. That's cool. The forest didn't look as grim during the day. Tangled trees, bridge. In the distance. Oh, sorry. Oh. It's like almost, it's like midnight right now. Shit. Uh, and the snowy field between our house and the forest brought the sleepiness to my eyes. But sometimes I would still catch myself looking in the window and the icy treetops instead of doing my homework. All right, now we open the drawer. One of the drawers was empty. I had to admit there. I got an achievement! Woo! This simple action drained the last bit of strength from me. I sat on the bed. And only then did I notice there was someone behind the curtain. My tired hand dropped to the sheet. Whether it was due to the medication I took or the stress I underwent, the room began to contort as if the wind was blowing the, the walls out like a pair of sails. <laughs> <laughs> the corner of the room bent and un undel undulated. undulated. The only stable thing in the whole room was a figure between the window seal and the curtain. A flimsy piece of cloth was stuck to my hidden visitor. I reminded me it reminded me of a burial sheet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Who else would be standing there? I stood up and licked my dry lips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so funny. The silhouette was unmoving. It was enveloped softly in the curtains. As if there was a thick layer of darkness there. Not not a human being. I reached towards the curtain. But um but um beat my heart. Controlled by the medication. The wind sang in the field, the chorus of voices. For a second I wanted to return to bed, just lie down and watch the person behind the curtain. 
knowing full well they were looking back at me. They looked without blinking, waiting for me to fall asleep. Plastic rings rustled against the holder when I pulled the curtain open. Gotcha. I knew it, I knew it was you from the beginning. A blindingly bright halo lit above Oya's head with the setting sun as the background. My sister was shining. When she was just a baby, Dad always used to say she was shining with happiness. I always retorted, but Dad, she's not some flashlight. <laughs> wow, you're good, kid. <laughs> but I brought her to the window one day and shine light and I poured on her smiling face. I felt like I was holding a light. I saw everything. Oh, really? What did you hide? She was just like my mom when she was little. She put another sad mask of tiredness and switched to her commanding tone of voice. It was nothing, just I ran to the table. Her eyes round and asked, You stole something and hid it there. Are you a thief? What? Don't be stupid. I didn't steal anything. A clear image came to mind. That mitten hanging from the brand, the tree branch. What if I did steal it after all? From the forest, from the tilted figure standing behind the black tree. Oya could be selfish and stubborn when she wanted. Then show me. Swear that you won't tell anyone. Then I'll show. Oya wore a plotting smile. I swear on mom's heart. That's a terrible thing to swear on. If you break that oath, your mom dies. Pioneer movement. Umbrella tour with a communist children. We're actually against it around the world. Somewhat reminiscent of the, of the scout movement. Okay. I know that you heard once in a movie about the pioneers we've watched. Don't say things like that. Oya nodded and made a gesture with her hands, locking her mouth with an imaginary key. She was filled with curiosity that was splashing in her giant eyes. I'm in the door, Oya, you did. Hold your breath. It looked like there was not just a simple mitten, but an exotic critter, some sort of exotic critter. Is that this someone's mitten? She said that. She said that as if she couldn't understand. What she saw. Her boy lost it. And I and got lost himself. Now, you, now do you understand how dangerous it is for kids to wander in the forest, right? He must be really cold out there. Will they find him? They will. The police are going to house the house, showing his photo to every everybody. <sighs> Oya transversed the room with care and pressed her tiny palm against the window. And why are they going to the ha to the houses and not the forest? Are they scared? The question caught me off guard. The police aren't scared of anything. That's a lie. Police are scared of many things. Now you now you're cursed. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. They already scouted the. They've already scouted the forest. Yeah. Right. Flashed in my time. Did they really check every nook and cranny, every uh, where darkness, cold, and whispers of icy branches dwell? If that's the case, how did they miss the mitten? Or did it appear later for me? I changed the topic. As if trying to get Oya as far away as possible from the forest thicket. We may get a reward if, if I go and find the boy myself. We'll have stuff, like the Wheel of Fortune. Sounds cool, right? Why oh, wasn't listening to me? She was piercing the forest with her incredible dull eyes. Incredibly dull eyes. Uncharacteristic of her. What if the owl got him? Dear God. Nonsense! An owl won't be able to lift a human. But you know what? I picked my words with the utmost care. My voices, I forced them out. 
of my overexerted brain. Stay away from the forest. I think it's... How should I put it? It's cursed or something? Just like in a fairy tale. No, more like in that spooky tape our parents hide from us. I shivered and stole a glance at the window. I saw you running away. Someone was chasing you? No, it was just I was in a hurry back home so mom wouldn't be worried. As I looked at my sister, my heart was tearing apart. She was so fragile. It was so easy to stifle her light. We the wind and a small fire. Oh, we'd go out. You're lucky. Mom won't even let me go outside. I'm like a princess in a in the tower. Can't go anywhere. I'll die from boredom here. You're wrong. No one has ever, ever died of boredom. You have me and your cartoons and mom and dad will be good to each, uh, each other soon. You know what I wish... What I would wish for my next birthday? Wish for my, uh... To turn to children so we could go and play together like we used to. Go to bed, moron. Yeah, I know, I'm yelling at everyone. I want to finish the chapter! I'm getting- I'm going as long as I can. Yeah, and if you- if you make them as small as bugs, you could place them in a little box- into a little box. <laughs> I giggled and tugged at my sleeve. Tasha, let's go watch Aladdin. I'm Tasha once again. <laughs> oh dear god. Fatigue won over me, uh, over my desire. I wonder if Tasha was one of the things here. I wonder if it, like, came up. I'm, like, curious, actually. Nope, nothing. Okay. Fatigue won over my desire to be with my sister. I was, hmm. I was washed over by some sort of heinous apathy. I'm too tired. I don't want to. Come on. It's so boring alone. Mom is always busy. We can pick a cartoon you haven't seen before. I know all of, your, all of our tapes by heart at this point. Not all of them. You haven't watched Peter Pan. Remember how you fell asleep in the middle of it? That's so much happens after that. Let's go, let's go. Maybe a bit later. Should I tell you how it ends? Let's leave that for tomorrow. I won't tell you tomorrow. I know, let's play hide and seek. No, Oya. Then draw me a dino. Oya, please. Draw, draw it. Leave me a... No! Oh. Oh, that's how you pause. Leave me alone already. I blurted it out without thinking, and then I was immediately taken back. Aback. I never screamed at my little sister like that. Or you stared at me in shock. My lips started trembling. A precursor to tears. My chest was seething with disgust and embarrassment. What's happening to me? I hurried to prevent... Oh, you're All right, you in. Let's go watch cartoons for a bit. I don't want to. I have to put my hand on her soft head. Let's go. Let's go watch Peter Pan. Boo, you fall asleep again. I smiled and lifted her chin. Her eyes were wet and felt bottomless. I promise I won't. I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> and I'll draw you a full triceratops later. Hooray! Hooray. Uh, trip Sir Pops. Yes, that's how I pronounce it. Oh, close enough. I rubbed her eyes with her sleeve, with her pajamas, and... Shining smile returned to her face. For condensed milk and bread. And you rewind the tape. The bread is fresh. Just how you like it. Alright, just be careful not to spill the milk. Or you'll be yelled at again. Wanna bet I won't spill it? The tape is somewhere in the, in the, night, in the nightstand. Look for it. I disappeared into the doorway, and I dragged my feet to the neighboring room. Hmm. A piggy bank. I've always been saving money for a real puppy because Dad said that taking care of it, uh, of him, will take a lot of money. Oh. I don't know why that's funny. Here. Oh, he has countless toys. An old teddy bear is the main attraction here. 
I didn't sleep without it. And she digs her nose into its fur when she sleeps. Scary window where Oya sees the accursed owl every night lurking in the dark. It keeps the curtains open during the day, but as soon as twilight comes, she shuts them tight so she wouldn't see the pair of hungry eyes outside. Okay. Let's turn on the TV. The old photon TV was gathering dust in the corner. All that was left was to click the button on the front panel. It had warm up and a familiar white noise of dancing on the black screen. I almost reached out to turn on the VCR and the noise calmed me and blurred my vision appeared. Wait, and a blurry image appeared from the, for a moment. It was the dark Aiga forest, just like the one outside my window. The picture split the screen in half. Something was cr uh, creepy, resembling human speech, was coming out of the speakers. Just a few moments later, the scenery was again overshadowed by noise. Did I catch some rogue signal? Local TV station only sh really showed Soviet cartoons, and even that was pretty rare. The only, uh, and only just recently, I used to always watch Robotech before school. It was so awesome. Maybe I, maybe I should tinker with the antenna. What if I catch this th this channel again? On the other hand, it asked me to find the tape. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be nice to disappoint her. But in my sleepy state, I didn't have the strength to do all of it. I'm gonna fuck with the TV. The picture finally cleared up. Ooh! Ooh! The moment I rejoiced and finding a weird signal again, the TV started coughing and a voice barely coming through. The cacophony he was so often seen at the moment when small snowy hills were lined up on the screen piercing uh, pierced with rickety crosses and a man's voice was narrating with a slow mournful tone voice. it's a it's a pitch black night at the cemetery in the, fate, the fateful dark time, little Sonya met her face at the face of a monstrous thicket dweller. The locals called him not, uh, no other than the Forest Master. I froze and did my best not to move, as, as if by doing that I would scare away the narrator. I listened closely to his every word. The beast dealt with a helpless girl in a, in a masterful manner. The camera panned across the snow, with some uh, something black spilled over it, looking like ragged pieces of cloth that were thrown around over, or all over the place. I didn't want to think whether Sonya's remains were wrapped in, in there, so I shut my eyes without thinking. The voice continued. Wolves are rare guests in these parts. Here's. What Tomara, the old woman that lived in a, in a nearby crypt, had to say. A close-up shot of the face of a homeless, a homeless woman we uh, weary from life and alcohol abuse battled on the screen. Yes, yes, some, uh, such a fearsome beastie it is. Worse than the rising dead. The old woman splattered saliva all over <laughs> the rectangular mic. Go oh, with Satan, and the stink, like it's—it's it's like the remainder of the conversation was swallowed up by the sound of a horn. That's not a horn. I've never felt anything like it. It was just standing there, yes, right where you stand, Moyo, piercing me with its eyes, right in the middle of the of the day. It's so huge, the one with glassy eyes. Obscurity was covering. Uh, obscurities were covered by another beep. You know, they say if, if this demon lays eyes on you, it snatches you, puts you, puts you into a bag, and you're, and you're done. Ha 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 But he won't touch me. <laughs> like me? 
it seems. So even, even call me the devil's wench. 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 Wench! Wench! And it's, and it's definitely true. Terminator's monster will not touch those who fell to the level, to the level of the Force Beast going for the innocent child's blood instead. Force Master present, uh, presence is felt more and more on the outskirts of our country. Torn between believing in what was said and shrugging it away, I decided to record the remaining part of the documentary for some reason. I quickly grabbed tape on top of the TV and put it in the VHS without even looking at the cover. Oh, fuck. Press record. Turning the sound up and paying attention to the signal again. It's not called the Forest Master for nothing. All the animals obey it. But they, uh, be they hairy or feathery, they all precursor in its appearance. If you hear howls in the distance, then it most likely already knows where you live. If you find animals prints all over your doorstep, and the birds watching you from the trees, you better hide, it's already coming for you. And if you wake up at night and see a pair of eyes in your window, then soon. Then soon. Then soon. Then soon. Then soon. Then soon. Oh! Is the goat man! The TV suddenly went mad and looping. Last word over and over again, piercing my ears. I got goosebumps all over my spine. The tape ended, rewinded to the beginning. Russell around for a moment, leaving. Uh, leaves in the wind, low howls of beast. I woke up from my stupor and pressed the button. Checked the tape. For a moment, thought it was stained with saliva, but that was just the light from the chandelier making. The black plastic glossy. Then I saw the cover. Oops, I recorded it over Peter Pan. That was that's what I get for hurrying. It was bad enough that I ruined Oyo's cartoon, but I also put this creepy stuff on it. I can't let her see it. We'll drown in tears. So I against the door. I could hear clattering of glasses and squeaky floorboards. Oh, he appeared in the doorway. It was there without me. Sister brought the tray with an uneven cut bread and a whole can of condensed milk. Uh, no. I was looking for the tape. You really want to watch Peter Pan? I do, I do. Turn it on already. Mom, Mom will come watch her Brazilian drama soon. Come on, this fake detective. You know, I didn't think, I, I don't think, I don't think Maybe we should watch Little Mermaid instead. I've already seen it so many times. You promised. She's so stupid. I know, I just watched a couple of... Let's watch a couple of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episodes first, deal. She frowned, but ultimately gave up. She put down the tray and crossed her hands on her chest. If you want it so much... Can you open the milk, milk can? I'm afraid that I'll cut myself on the sharp edge. As soon as I stood up, the colorful dot popped up in my eyes. My swords were pierced by thousands of needles. Only when I saw the sofa, I realized that the can was already open. They tricked me. Played me for a fool. My stomach felt heavy, became heavy. I wanted to rush towards the TV, but my sister was faster. She picked up the remote and claimed victory tone. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. As the remote's master, I command you to watch Peter Pan. He just... She played it, and then... Black crossed on an unnamed grave. Empty crypts, bloody scraps. And same to you. I'd better tell the truth. Оля, стой! Ой, стоп. Я тебе конец кассеты не чистила. Отдай ее мне и возьми любые две мои. From you for two of mine. Ты чего? What did you? What do you mean? Не мог ты стереть. You couldn't erase it. Me and Dad had broken all the plastic pins with the screwdriver. Теперь ни на один мой мультфильм ничего записать. You can't record anything over my cartoons now. Ah. 
My sister pressed the triangle play button with the remote. I squeezed on the inside. Ah! Awaiting the out of the world voice and narrator, and I saw the duel between Peter Pan and Captain Hook instead. I sighed in relief. My head, heavy as a lead ball, now rested in my hands. I just smiled in joy. She put the tape on rewind and started spreading the milk over. Spreading milk over the bread? Mm, something Russian, I guess. And then when the cartoon started, she forgot about everything in the world. As if she got transported to Neverland. Like she always like she always wished. To be honest, I, I also imagine myself there. In a land where one never aged. Where no one ar argues over little things. Where no one listens to fights and the sounds of broken plates at night. Now Peter Pan's land was especially far from me. Far away from me. My thought dragged on, uh, dragged on stumbling upon the horned beast that awaited me along, among the trees, and the narrator's mournful voice haunting me, sliding over bush and ravines, bushes and ravines, like a winged car carnivore would, would track its prey. It felt like I was dreaming with my eyes still open. Then my sister screamed, Hold me back to reality. Okay. So the curtain passed. Why? No one's watching you. It's dark, it's dark. The owl comes. I'm, I'm scared. Got in the bed, find my dress, and just close the curtain. I did my best not to look outside towards the treetops, towards the tiger forest, which seemingly drew closer and closer. Of course! It was just a visual effect from shadows of branches scraping in the snow. Hush up, Mom. Thinks I made the owl up. Dad, and Dad, you. Thinking I'm alive or since I'm small. But the owl exists. Honestly, honestly. It does. You believe me, right? That, that's, <laughs> that it comes every night and... and I swiftly grabbed Oya's hand and looked her in the eye. I tried to transfer... At least some of my courage and determination. What the fuck just moved? But did did I really have those qualities? It's oh, it's the lighting. Yes, I believe you, alright? Just don't nag our parents about it anymore. They're already dealing with a lot, so they've just got mad at you. Come and tell me if anything happens. I don't... And don't look out the window. But it wants... It wants me to look. Doesn't matter. I feel like it doesn't exist and never existed. Like it's made up. Just like mom and dad said. It'll get tired of waiting and fly away. I followed Peter Pan's adventures as if nothing had happened, as if the forest didn't kidnap kids, as if. Our parents weren't tearing each other apart, bit by bit. Captain Hook was running away from the crocodile, and Cap uh, Captain Pan was heading to London on a gliding sailboat. Some, by some miracle, I lasted longer than my sister. When his eyelids dropped, she started snoring lightly, resting her chin on the side of the bed. The chorus was singing the ending song. The world of Disney was lit up. By a silvery moon. Another peak from under from under the first one. Another moon peaked from under the first one. Scary and Wayne want Wayne hanging over the take of forest. The horrific report had recorded right over the credits. My throat went dry. My pulse began uh, became fast faster. I looked for Doya. She smacked her lips in her sleep. I squeezed the remote with all my might, ready to push the stop for a moment. I rewound the recording, checking if it was intact, and carefully took out the tape. The protection pins were still in place. I stood up and left Oya's room. Whether it was by providence or by curse, I hid the tape 
along with the mitten, at the exact moment Mom peeked into my room. So I seem to be getting all the items I have to hide. Enough playing around. It's your first day of school tomorrow. Go to bed. You should sleep properly. You don't want to be teased by, uh, for being sleepy, right? I don't think everything is so simple. As if sound sleep would ensure my class the classmates would like me. I don't think sound... It, it's a matter of getting the sound sleep. I don't get that. I covered myself with the blanket up to my neck and listened to the house humming to something invisible rustling in the corner. Once we get to the morning, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to throw that there. My inner voice had, question, uh, had a question for me. Do I want to hear the mysterious flute again? Yes or no? Maybe... It was just a part of growing up, and I can't fully understand my own desires. Forced wail behind the barrier that was my walls. Some ethereal entity wanders and wandered the field. Branches shook as if calling for me. The wind howled on and on in the night. My thoughts were like annoying flies that entered my head before becoming weak and tangled. I didn't notice how I fell into slumber. The true detective won. It came, and it has come, for all. The day I feared most, the first day of your school term. Oh, that was the first chapter. We got through the first episode, boys. Took an hour and a half. All right, so I'm going to save it here. Oh, wow. Oh, I can save after decisions. Oh, I didn't fucking know that. Oh, that's cool. All right. Cool. Oh, we saved. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, this game's a lot of fun. I, I actually... I. I enjoy the story. I'm getting really into this. My throat hurts right now from all the reading. I haven't read that much in a long time out loud. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.